Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. So in this uh, clip we will be talking about uh, examples of martingales and uh, I will be discussing a very nice uh, example of martingale process. So I will be putting it in the form of a theorem. So let f be square integrable function on closed interval of real numbers then the the stochastic process the stochastic process stochastic process defined by defined by by this m t m sub t equal to a to t f of s d b s so this is really you know the winner integral from a to t where a is less than equal to t less than equal to b so then this is stochastic process is martingale martingale with respect to filtration ft which is you know filtration or sigma field generated by this uh, brownian motion for every s less than equal to t so we will show that you know that this process that we have defined here with m sub t is martingale so we will verify the conditions required in the martingale so let's work with the proof adoptedness is not a big deal because the filtration is generated by brownian motions and then you can keep the process in head and see that because the filtration is generated by the brownian motion so the process is going to be adapted uh, you know the process is going to be measurable for every t you can see that not a big t if you are a little bit careful i'll be doing these two first i'll show that this expectation of mt is finite and secondly this is going to be something that will require work uh, expectation of m sub t given f sub s is equal to m sub s so these two conditions i'll be very fine so first let's let's talk about this so we know that m t is given by a to t f of s t b s this is you know brownie so let's apply expectation so this is going to be expectation of this f of s d p s but before uh, i show this let let me uh, do one more thing instead of this let's compute this expectation of mt squared so this is going to be expectation of uh, this integral a to t f of s dbs squared and you know that this is a Wiener integral and for Wiener integral we know that its expectation square expectation of its square is basically the variance so and the variance is you know we know that it 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 turns out to be uh, you know like uh, to be the two norm from a to t of this f of s so it's you know the square of the integral the square integral of the square of this function ds this we know from the Wiener integral if you recall the very the variance of the uh, Wiener integral and then you can uh, write it 
this way a to b instead of t i'm taking this till b so that will, this this integral will get increased ts and you know that function is coming from l to a b so this this integral must be finite now you can see that this expectation of mt square is finite then using this inequality mt expectation of mt less than equal to expectation of mt square raised 1 by 2 and this is finite so this is finite and that's why this is also finite so that means that is this expectation is finite so you can uh, see through the Janssen inequality to this 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 inequality let's now verify the second condition and second condition we need to show that the expectation of mt given fs is equal to ms so i'll start like this i know that my mt is equal to a to t f of s d b s then i can write it in another nice form that is let's say i have an s which is less than equal to t then i can break down down this integral in this form m s plus s to t f of s d b s so this is you know integral with respect to brown in motion now i, I need i'm applying expectation expectation of mt given fs this is going to be expectation of ms given fs plus expectation of this s to t f of s d b s given fs but we know that this ms is measurable in fs by the definition so of you know being a stochastic process you know adapted so ms is coming outside so this is expectation of s to t f of s d b s given f s f t i only need to show now that this quantity is zero if I'm successful in showing that this quantity is zero, then I'm done because then this expectation of m sub t given fs is nothing but ms. So let's work out with this. So in order to show this expectation of you know integral a to s to t, now I'll I'll write f u dbu because s is used here as a limit given fs ft is zero i'll show this but before i show this i will work out this same result for a step function so instead of this general square integrable function consider a step function fi you know step function f to be i equal to 1 to n ai indicator function of ti to ti minus 1 plus 1 sorry or ti minus 2 1 to ti so that's my indicator function and for the indicator function we know that this quantity s to t f of u d b u is defined by if you recall the winner integral for step functions so this is defined by i equal to 1 to n 1 to n a i b i 
minus b i minus one. So this is b of t i plus here. Now we already know that these, you know, these these increments b of t i minus b of t i minus one are independent of sigma fields. Are independent of f s f t or f s maybe. So from that. Yeah, we, we, we needed to write here as so we know that these are independent of FS. So that's why this expectation of BI minus BI minus one given FS is equal to expectation of this increment BI minus BI minus one. And we know that expectation of these Brownians are zero. So this is zero. So for a step function, at least we can say that this is zero for step functions. So now what we need to do is we need to consider a sequence of uh, consider a sequence of step functions sequence of sequence fn of step functions. So we have a sequence fn of step functions such that this sequence is converging to our f which is from L to a b square integrable function general function that we have. Then from Jensen inequality we also know that this expectation of x given f this square is less than equal to expectation of x square given f. So this this will be used. Then we can consider this sequence f n of u minus f of u d b u given f s integral from s to t and its expectation and square of this then by Janssen inequality I can write it this way expectation of s to t fn of u minus f of u d b u its square given f s I can write this then then applying expectation again to both sides s to t of f n of u minus f of u d b u given f s this is square less than equal to expectation again expectation and you write all of this quantity here And then we can use one nice property of conditional expectation that we have already seen. And it says that expectation of expectation of x is equal to expectation of x. So I won't do anything to this left side, but I will be applying this inequality to the right side. So by applying this inequality to right side, I can conclude that uh, expectation of expectation of s to t fn of u minus f of u db u and then given fs all of this square is less than equal to s to t fn of u minus f of u du and this is square so you can conclude this and then you can take this integral a to b and then you can apply limit and goes to infinity so you will take zero that means 